When it comes to making electronics projects, a custom PCB board is always one of the top priorities. The so-called printed circuit boards are usually made from a copper plated FR4 sheet. Now that is absolutely okay for most of our projects. But sometimes it doesn't fulfill all of our demands, such as proper heat transfer. The FR4 material is not a very good conductor of heat. Now let's say your circuit has this kind of high power LEDs which produces a lot of heat. And if we don't take care of the excessive heat, it might damage the LED. That is why another kind of PCB comes into play. This is an aluminum PCB. It has an isolated base plate made out of aluminum, which is a very good conductor of heat, and it is also very affordable. That is why aluminum PCBs are widely used in LED light bulbs to make the LED panel. So in this video, I will be showing you how an aluminum PCB works and how to make one. Let's begin. The base material of an aluminum PCB consists of an aluminum core and standard FR4 material. It features a thermal clad layer that dissipates heat in a highly efficient manner while cooling components and increasing the overall performance of the products. It has a copper layer which contains all of our electrical circuitry on top of the aluminum substance and a dielectric insulating layer in between. So basically, it is a one layer PCB. There also exist multi layer one, but that is not very common. Now, designing this PCB is the same as a regular PCB. You just have to keep in mind that all components should be on one side of the PCB and nothing will be on the other side. After designing the PCB, I head over to PCBWay website for manufacturing the PCB. Ordering PCBs from PCBWay is very simple. First go to the instant quote page and click on quick order PCB. Then upload your gerber files and select quantity. Then choose single layer and select material type to aluminium. As we have everything on the top layer, so we have to mention that. Finally I choose white color for solder masking and place the order. As you can see it only cost around $26 which is pretty cheap. So do check out PCB way for manufacturing prototyping PCBs. This is how the PCB looks like after manufacturing. The shiny back side is made out of aluminium and all of our circuitry is on the top side. And it is electrically isolated from the rest of the PCB. Soldering aluminium PCBs is not very challenging. Your regular soldering iron can get the job done. But things get complicated when it comes to the soldering a component. Because no matter how much you heat the pad, the heat gets dissipated almost instantly. Therefore pay attention while soldering. Originally, I planned to run the whole system from 12 volts. 
That's why I put three LEDs in series, but later, it turns out that the LEDs I currently have, runs on a much higher voltage, preferably 8 to 12 volts. A good way to test this, is by using a multimeter. If it blows a little, then it can be driven by 3 to 4 volts. Otherwise you have to look for a higher power source. So now I need at least 24 volt, to lit the white LEDs. That's why I have to use a boost converter, to step up the 12 volt input, to 24 volt. After soldering, the PCB looks something like this. It consists of 24 white LEDs of 3528 package, and has 6 RGB LEDs of 3 watts. I also made this little LED driver, by using 4N channel MOSFETs that I made earlier, to drive all the LEDs. Let's hook everything up, and see it in action. If you enjoy the video please give it a like, and share. Comment any suggestions you might have, and I will see you in the next video.